In this video, uh, let us learn how we can solve a system of linear equations uh, using MATLAB. And as an example, we will use the same set of equations we had developed in an earlier video titled Nodal uh, Analysis Ex Example. So I'm referring to the three linear equations we had obtained as applying KCL at each node for the circuit that is shown on this slide. So once we have linear equations, over here we have three unknowns, VA, VB, VC, and we are going to learn how we can use MATLAB to solve for these three unknowns. As I mentioned in that earlier video, we have to define what matrix A is going to be. It's going to be a three row, three columns matrix, essentially containing the coefficients of VA, VB, VC for all the three equations. B is going to be a column vector with uh, coefficients that are on the right hand side of these three equations 10 0 0 in this case and x is the column vector of the unknowns in this in this case VA VB and VC so let's see how we can first declare a as a 3 by 3 matrix in MATLAB so I'm gonna use the command window to enter the matrix a start with a square bracket and then I'm going to first enter my first row. The first row in this case is 4, minus 1, minus 1, 4, space, minus 1, space, minus 1. A space bar can be used to separate columns, or you could also use a comma. They both work uh, in the same manner. However, to separate rows, you need to use a semicolon. So if I wanted to enter the second row, in this case, minus 2, 4, and negative 1, I would use a semicolon and then enter my second row, negative 2, 4, and negative 1. And then I have my last row, so another semicolon here, and then I have negative 2, negative 1, and 4 for my last row. I finish with a square bracket and I'm not going to use a semicolon over here just because I want MATLAB to echo the command back to me and it does. If I were to use a semicolon as a line terminator it wouldn't echo A back to me. Uh, so this uh, checks out that's what I have for negative 2, negative 2 here, negative 1 uh, this maps very uh, this maps correctly to what I had on the slide. Now let's define our B, a column vector, 10, 0, 0. So I'll use small b, square bracket, 10, row separator, 0, row separator, 0. And then I'll finish it up with another square bracket. And in this case, let me use a semicolon just to demonstrate that it is not going to echo it back. But if I wanted to check what B is, I just say B, return key, and then it's going to tell me that B is 10, 0, 0. Now, in the example, I had to find the inverse of matrix A and then do a matrix multiplication with B in order to find the vector of unknowns, X. So I'm going to use MATLAB to do the same job. In this case, I'll define X as A backslash b. Backslash works as the same thing as an inv function. I'm just going to hit the, hit the return key and it's going to give me 3.75, 2.5 and 2.5 for the three unknowns va, vb, vc which we have found now using MATLAB. Uh, you could have also used uh, say x1 as inv of a and then multiply it with b so it could give you the same result so you could use a backslash or an inv function which is used to invert a matrix in this case a and then do an asterisk operation to do matrix multiplication with b i hope this helps